What up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna talk about some mistakes I made as a beginner lifter that I wish I did not make. When guys start training, they are doing a bro split, which means pretty much Monday chest and triceps, Tuesday back and biceps, Wednesday legs, Thursday shoulders, Friday arms. Everything except for the arms only once a week. As we know, after a workout, our muscles need about 48 to 72 hours to recover, which means if you do chest on Monday, the other six days is for recovery but we now know we only need two to three days to recover so we have a spare three or four days where we're pretty much not hitting anything where we don't hit chest but it's already ready to be hit again so what that means is if you don't train a bro split but you train everything twice a week you have a way more efficient way of training which pretty much means you make progress twice as fast my second point is going to be focusing too much on pump now, the pump obviously feels super, super good. It makes you feel bigger. It makes you feel like you're doing something. And obviously the pump is great. But the pump does not mean that you're having a great workout. You can have a pump. You can get a pump by doing too much volume and just pumping the muscle up and get as much blood flow to the muscle as you possibly can uh, while not really making any progress strength wise. For example, you are going to be doing bench press. You can do six sets of eight repetitions with 135 pounds, you get a great pump, like a great pump. But instead, you could be doing three or four sets with um, 225, which may not get you the biggest pump because you're only doing three reps, but it's having you progress on that lift, which makes you stronger, which makes you make gains. This brings me to my next point, which is very similar to this, is to focus a little bit too much on isolation exercise instead of compound exercises. Now, the compound exercise are obviously the biggest exercise, the, the ones that you're gonna make the most progress, the fastest on. Now, these are gonna be the bench presses, the squats, the light lifts, the overhead presses. These are the most important exercises for you to do in order to make muscle gain. But you're gonna have to be focusing on a compound on movements first to make significant muscle gains because that's where all the gains are going to be made especially at the beginning now this is a controversial one it is a very weird one to say eating too much protein is unnecessary when you start lifting and the first thing you think about is oh you have to eat so many proteins yes you have to eat a lot more proteins than usually people who are not in the gym eat. It's not like you have to eat proteins all day long and you have to eat up to 300, 400 grams of protein to get the muscle gains that you desire. Now a good rule of thumb is gonna be a gram per pound of body weight or two grams of kilo per body weight. Um, I always say one gram per pound of body weight is even that is a little too much. I usually aim for 0.85 grams uh, per pound of body weight, but I do understand if that's a little bit hard to calculate or whatever. It's easier to remember one gram per pound of body weight. So there's so much a body can take in, right? As a natural lifter, you have a certain amount of proteins that your body can take in and process to rebuild that muscle that you're destroying in the gym pretty much. That process takes energy of your body to get that protein and transfer it into glucose. If you are eating carbs instead of those proteins, then your body will have an immediate glucose, which means you don't have to transfer the protein to the glucose because it's an inst carbs is an instant glucose, right? It's an instant sugar. So your body needs it and your body uses it instantly. Now, supplements are something that I've talked about quite a lot on this channel. And I know I like my pre-workouts and I know I take my creatine and I know the protein shake here and there is very, very convenient. But a lot of people think that you have to have proteins and creatines and pre-workouts to make gains, which is obviously not the case. If you are a beginner lifter, I always tell people this. Start with the basics. Start with going to the gym a couple times a week. Start with eating more healthy. Start with being more aware of what exactly that you're eating. So instead of recommending people a protein shake first or a pre-workout at first, I always say, get in the gym, try it out for a month, see if you're able to do it for three, four times a week, and then we'll see what we can do. Now, if you have work or you have school and it's very inconvenient for you to cook meals, then yes, I would say take a protein shake with you to school, to the gym, to work, so you get your proteins in, because otherwise you're not able to. That's what supplementation is for. It's not a necessity. If you can do it otherwise, I would always say do it otherwise. Pre-workouts, yeah, they're nice. If you drink coffee, a caffeinated drink before your workout is really nice because obviously it wakes you up a little bit. But there's a lot of stuff in, in pre-workouts that you might not be a very, very big fan of, 
beta alanine, L-carnitine, stuff like that you might not like. And it's also not very good to drink it every single day. What about the Dutch? I'm just saying, the pre is nice. I would not recommend him do it every day because you kind of get dependent on it and feel like you need it before a workout, which is obviously not the case. And last but not least, tracking your workouts. Now this is a mistake that I've made for so long, like so long, I wasn't tracking anything. So I was pretty much doing whatever I thought I did last week, which is obviously not as accurate as actually writing it down in an app or in a little book where you keep track of all your workouts. Now, the workout tracking is obviously very important because over time, as a natural lifter, you're gonna need to make progress in a certain way. Weights used, volume, on the eccentric part of the movement, you can make progress, you know, doing a little slower, doing, you know, drop sets, doing supersets, doing pause sets even. There's a lot of things you can progress on and it's very, very important you keep track of that because over time, if you're training for a longer period of time, after like three, four years, it's gonna be very, very hard to make progress, um, visual progress, right? You need to eat well, you need to train very well, you need to be on your shit. And also progress in the gym because otherwise your, your body's not gonna be in any rush to make more muscle because they don't need it because you're not stimulating the muscle to grow. So tracking your workouts is very, very important and I am still not doing it 100% correctly. Just stupid. Stupid. Anyways, quick little video. I hope you learned something from this. If you are making any of the mistakes, think about it. See if you can adjust. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Ciao.